Hey friends, my name is Andrew and in this video we are going to install MySQL using Docker and Docker Compose. So let's check out the video. Okay, so let's, let's start. First of all, I want to say sorry that there, there are not so much videos on my channel last time. It's all because I'm, I'm totally in making my driving license. This was one of my main goals for this year. And currently I'm already finished uh, my school exams and preparing for government exams. But I try to, to record something about coding at least once a week. So and today let's let's actually make let's actually run my SQL using Docker. Let's write my SQL Docker. Actually I found it's pretty uh, pretty useful just you know not having anything installed locally but run everything in the containers it's pretty simple and and very elegant so what we will need uh, of course we will need uh, docker compose and i think we will need some env and that's actually start. So the first thing we need to define a version in our Docker Compose. So let's use the last one, it's 3.9. Uh, and then we will need obviously services. And our service is our database, so let's call it DB. And we will use some image. Uh, let's go to the Docker Hub. SQL and here we have this last 8.3.0 image so let's let's use it obviously this will be my SQL 8.3.0 uh, and we wanna it, uh, we wanna talk to our database through ports through standards so it is 306 port. Basically, this means that this port in my host machine, or in my laptop, will be uh, is uh, is talk with this port on the in the container. So it's like corresponding ports. And then I will connect to my uh, my SQL just using you know localhost 3306 port. Uh, I don't need this comma here, and then like this. and then let's define env file, which will be our env. Why? Because we don't want to put, for example, some uh, environment variables into the repository, so this file can be ignored, and you can add uh, on your server, for example, some other values, and they will be hidden from the from the users. What else do we need? We will need uh, volumes. And let's use this volume to be data. And map it to this folder in the container. And actually, let's create this volume in our uh, Docker Compose. Let's do volumes to be data. And now we need to define some environment variables. And let's actually read in the documentation. What variables do we have? Mm. Here is a nice example of how we can run it. Okay, so there's the section environment variables. So we have this MySQL root password. So this variable is mandatory and specifies the passwords that will be set for the MySQL root super user. And the above example set to my secret PV. So let's define this one. So the idea is that you define this in your env file, like for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just use this variable here, uh, like this one. And with that, then you ignore your env file. And in the repository, you, you have only this variable, and nobody knows 
what is your MySQL root password. Uh, the next thing we may define is MySQL database. This variable is optional, but if we define it, uh, we will create some database which we want to use, for example. So let's create and call it Andrew TV. And then we can create MySQL user MySQL password. It's, it's optional, but we can obviously we can use it. If we will not define this user password, then we can we can uh, log into this to our database just with root user. But let's define it. Um, sorry, here of course we want to do something like that. And then let's define MySQL user, which will be, for example, Andrew Wu Wu. And password will be the same, Andrew Wu Wu. <coughs> Sorry. So let's your user and uh, password. Yeah, and that's probably it. So this configuration is enough for you to run MySQL locally and you don't need to install it, you know, on your host machine. So you're free, for example, to use some MySQL version specific and try to do, you know, just try to experiment. So let's uh, now let's run it. So let's go to the terminal. First of all, let's, let's start Docker desktop. Uh, usually I'm doing I, I just stop, you know, all, everything which is running currently because sometimes we have some ports conflicts or something like that. So to stop all containers, I'm using this command. Uh, so basically it means that, hey Docker, stop everything which returns this command and this command actually returns all running uh, containers. So yeah, we stop everything and now let's use docker compose up minus d in detached mode. So everything running. And now let's uh, try to connect here. So I'm using PHP Storm, so I have this nice thing here like uh, my SQL connection. And uh, the user will be Andrew Wu Wu and the password will be Andrew Wu Wu, like we uh, created before. And let's just connect to the database Andrew Wu DB. Apply and let's do test connection. So everything's great, we can connect and we can use this database. If you don't have PHP Storm, you may uh, use, for example, I don't know, some MySQL connections like. First of all, you can connect here just uh, through your. A console, but if you don't have MySQL install, it will be pretty tough for you. Um, but you can, uh, for example, add PHP my admin here and just uh, run it. Maybe we can do it now. Let's see what we PHP admin local hub. Let's try to add it. So we have this. Five to one a patch. Sorry, I just clicked some stuff. So let's just add PHP my admin. Uh, so we will use this uh, image uh, PHP my admin to a patch. Um, what do we need? We need this uh, credentials, yeah. So we will need this SQL root password. So the same, let's define env file. And so just put here. I don't think we need this MySQL database. Because with PHP Madden we can see everything, I think. Okay, this in the this should be environment. Yeah. 
and env file will be this. And of course we need to map some ports if we wanna if we wanna uh, open our PHP my admin in the in the browser. Uh, so we just should use this stuff, and we need uh, this MySQL DB server. PMA host, yeah, so define address host name of the MySQL server. So uh, PMA host will be um, this name. So the name of the server, so this will be a DB. Uh, PMA port, so define port of the MySQL. Well, I think we don't need it because I think this will use default port, which is 3306. Uh, what else do we need here? Uh, obviously, we need to uh, to define uh, ports like this one. Yeah. So it means that on my local 8080 port, I will listen to this 80 port inside the container. Uh, 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 and I think that's probably it. So uh, let's just do the Docker compose down minus power, which I will remove also volumes and then do Docker compose up. Now we're pulling our PHP my admin to takes a while. Yeah, and now it's running. So let's go to the uh, local host eighty eighteen. So we have our PHP my admin instance. Uh, let's actually use root. And for root, our password is one two three four five six. Yeah. So with this, for example, you can also see your uh, databases. And let's try to log in. I'm pretty interested if we can. If we can log with. Um, actually, I can log out from this. <laughs> this is, yeah. Let's log this Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, and when we log with Andrew Wu, so we can only access the database that we created uh, for this user. So that's the difference. So that's how it looks like. I will put this into the repository so you may uh, see it, all of this stuff and use it in your applications. Hope it helps someone. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and see you on the next videos bye guys